This is Jordan's vision. Pull up a seat and kick up your feet. Welcome, 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 guys. How are we doing? Uh, good to be back on the Only Murders in the Building train. Uh, last time we did watch the uh, season premiere of uh, season two. Uh, so lots of stuff happened. Uh, you know, we found out, you know, about the murder of Bunny, a little bit more about it, uh, as we find out at the end of uh, season one. Uh, they were all released as persons of interest, by the way. So uh, we've got that going for us. They're not still in jail. Uh, so Charles uh, was uh, approached uh, for a reboot of Brazos, uh, playing Uncle Brazos. <laughs> Um, and, uh, Mabel was approached about her art, her murals and stuff, so that's going for her. Uh, Oliver was approached by Amy Schumer, who now lives in the building in Sting's old room, uh, about, uh, the rights to the podcast and, you know, making it into a series type of thing. Uh, so everyone's got their little thing going on. They were warned, by the way, uh, because they are persons of interest, uh, not to do any podcast about Bunny's murder, uh, because, you know, they could be arrested at any time type of thing. They ignored that, uh, they did start the podcast up again, and, uh... That's going. Uh, we found out at the end of the episode that uh, one of Bunny's last words uh, was Savage, which, you know, Charles's full name is Charles Hayden Savage. We don't know because Savage is a word as well. Maybe she could have been just saying, you know, I was stabbed, it was Savage, or, or you know, some Savage stabbed me. Also, uh, a painting uh, went missing from Bunny's apartment and turned up in Charles's apartment. And it turns out uh, the male subject of the painting is Charles's father. So... The plot thickens, man. The plot thickens. Uh, so we are uh, getting into episode two now. That's where we're entering it. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And don't forget, reacting to art is sharing art. Channels like these benefit everyone from the viewers all the way up to the original creators themselves. Also, a reminder, spoilers are likely. So if you haven't seen this episode yet and would like to, please feel free to click off and take care of that first. I'll be here when you get back. But for those of you who are sticking with me, pull up a seat, kick up your feet, and let's watch Only Murders in the Building Season 2, Episode 2, which is titled Framed. You know, it could be them being framed. It could be, you know, the picture frame. We'll see. On with the show. Hi, Alice. I'm really glad you came. I'm so glad you're not a catfish. And we could just... Yeah, so I was thinking she could have been. Well, hello there, Amy Schumer. Would you ever consider selling me the rights to the podcast so I could turn it into an 8 to 10 episode Yeah, we'll probably see more Amy Schumer in this live. one. There should be a naked man on this wall. No naked man here. Hell, you know, I'm thinking, if Bunny had a bird, yeah, still, that maybe the bird hurt close. something and could repeat something yeah, later. Bunny's that you? It's my father. Okay. The story of Bunny Folger begins oh. with the story of the Arconia. Built in wow. 1908 to help establish the Upper West Was Side, she built in 1908? I don't West think Bunny was that old. Each of Archibald's buildings had little secrets known only to the architect himself. Archibald oh, Bunny probably learned them. Oh. Little glory hole? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Archibald's daughter, Leonora, married one Mr. Folger and raised their daughter, Bunny, in the Arcadia. Okay. So this guy is Bunny her grandfather. A place for immigrants, artists, and, as ever, aspiring actors. Mark, Princess? I know you think it's silly, but when you get to know Tony... Oh, you know what? This is probably a flashback. You're going to nail this audition. Yeah, we'll see. Just remember not to tell your mother about what we did today. Oh, skipping school? Because she's a dream killer, son. Oh, I bet. Charles, look at that building. Yep, that is young Charles. So my father was the subject of a very pricey piece of erotica. Are you sure that's your father? He had much broader... I mean, I guess his father lived here, too. Narrower hips. I mean, his are like this, and you're more like... Mm, this. Okay, Simon was, Cowell. Was he a model? Was he a, a gigolo? Was he sleeping with Rose Cooper? Maybe? A, a super valuable painting of your father that was stolen from a murdered woman's apartment, planted in yours. And that's the part you can't get over? The sex part? So I mean, the sex secrets. toys kind of saved the last he murder. Be an actor? Did he really want to live in this building? The flashback suggested that he did. Back, guys. This painting's called Savage. Oh, the what? painting is called Savage. Yeah. Bunny said something to me before she died. Fourteen. In addition to fourteen. 
Savage. Yeah, she said savage. She said maybe she was trying to point you toward the painting. Maybe she saw it being stolen. Or maybe she meant savage, like Jessica Savage. Who? A famous news anchor I dated briefly in the 80s. Lived in the building no. before me. Oh, by the way, did I ever tell you the time that I met Steve Croft at a Korean spa? The man had the most oh. beautiful firm breasts. Okay, Rambling. you must ask permission to tell stories from now on. None of this makes any Good sense. Good rule. It's clear that someone's trying to frame the two of you. Not me. Which is weird, uh, considering that I'm definitely the most compelling. We've got plenty. A little frame jealous. Okay. Oh, hi. Oh, Howard. And I loved your podcast. I actually knew it was your girlfriend, like episode eight. I mean, we knew episode I mean, nine. I also At least I did. Whoever has the painting is Bunny's killer. We're actually moving off that theory, Howard. Howard, hey, what happened to your eye? Oh, it's yeah, what did so happen? Silly. I, I was playing hide and seek with my new kitten, Sevelyn, and yeah, um, Sevelyn. Um, there's a gathering over at Bunny's place right now, just for people who loved her. It should be a very small gathering. I thought it would. Uh, be a <laughs> and so, like the Tim Kono gathering. Victim. But isn't that why you should go? To find the guilty person who looks more guilty than the three of you. Howard sure. They did it last time, too. I slip into Bunny's closet, down her secret elevator, into the alley. Where we can be with the painting. And then back up to Bunny's and out. Yes! That's going to get messed up somehow. Hello? Hello? Howard's my friend. <laughs> Talking to the bird. I want to help find Bunny's killer. Her death was tragic and one of the worst days of my life. And that's actually saying something. Right. Pretty traumatizing. All... If you were at this party, you agree to being recorded. Everyone, Nina Lin, if I may, I would just like to assure all of you, as the new board president, I will not let Bunny's demise adversely affect the buildings. We have a new bunny. Don't get me started on Nina. Why? What do you know? Oh, what's going on? Open. I will only say this. If you thought Bunny was a bitch, wait till you get a load of this one. Bunny was oh, no. a bitch. She was all alone in this world. No children, no family. Only me and Mrs. Goddamn Gambolini. Yeah, the bird, Why too. Why did the killer take that bird instead of her painting? I can think of a reason. Uh, we're not sure the killer has the painting. Of course the killer has the painting. Are you talking about my painting? Oh, is this Who the painter you? here? I'm Leonora Folger, the mother of Bunny. Okay. Where the fuck is my painting? I guess she's the owner of the painting. Can we call her Big Bunny, please? <laughs> No. Bad bunny. I have a bill of sale here somewhere that I got when I first bought it from the artist. And, oh, God. Here, you find it. Oh, I've got my... Gotta find something else. So what do we know about my daughter's murder and the theft? Why don't you ask these three? They're the ones that probably did it. No, no. We were framed. We're persons of interest. Yeah. It's very different. Very different. What is she doing? Is she smelling for guilt or something? No. <laughs> Not even smelling her. None of them did it. Okay. They didn't do it, but they know something. They know something. Somebody they do know something. Know. They know her last words. At least Mabel did. Do you know Yodel Shop, Leonora? Barbershop Quartet. But with Yodeling. Coca that tini. sounds awful. I, a Coco Tini has coconut. That looks like a cup of canal water. Right. <laughs> She's definitely Bunny's mom. It is I can see painting. it. Maybe she knew Rose Cooper. Maybe she knew my dad. <gasps> Maybe she killed Bunny to get it. <gasps> then why doesn't she have it? What? It happened on The Sopranos. <laughs> take that one and stab someone eight times. So we're looking at her, though. Charles, we will text you when we're downstairs with the painting so we can sneak it up. And please, I beg of you, just be cool. Uh, asking a lot. Who's cooler than me? Everyone. <laughs> I'm Brazos, bitch. I, I just get lazy and eat the cheese like that, too. Let's just say someone was using the good cart and then asked a lot of questions, so that I just I just grabbed the broken one. That'll work. Oh. To my job. Back off, old man! <laughs> well, can I at least ride down with you? You have no place in here! Oh, so dramatic. I'm so, oh, swimming by the art studio. Maybe unless I'm in jail. Who's making you smile like that? Oscar? Oh, um, no. Where is Oscar? I think Oscar and I are just both waiting for the let's just be friends text. Oh, they were a good couple, though. When you're in danger. It's all passion and sex. 
But then when things settle down, it, it's it's hard to know what comes next. Well, she's kind of in danger again. That's why Judy Dench and I lost touch after that infamous ride on the Concord. That never happened, right? No. God, you really get me. Yeah, we all get you. How many people do you actually know? Why do I recognize your voice? Oh, I'm an actor. I was on that TV show Brazos. Yeah, they have that on at my assisted living. Have Sounds about right. Background. This ends the investigation into a whole new direction. That's the one. Really... We're here to get to the elevator. Oh, oh no. She thrown out. That could be something. Mabel. Oliver. Oh no. Where were you? You were supposed to be here. We are here. You know, I'm putting this in the dumpster. No, that's worth a ton of money. You can't toss a picture of my father in the dumpster. <laughs> oh, you so many issues here. This. Nothing ends well if we end up with the stab lady's painting. Exactly. No stab lady painting. Oh, what's going on? Other people getting rid of stuff? Well, it's just a couch. Maybe it's not just a couch. No idea what happened to the victim's valuable art. We went back to motive. But people who hate us. What? To Teddy. Bunny Bulger, or to implicate one or all and of Theo. us. I mean, Jan's already in jail, though, right? Me. You know you didn't, right? <laughs> the watch. Hi. Alice? Hey. You made it. Hey. Sometimes I like to cry back here because I'm a fraud. It's a multi-purpose space. This is hey, where I come to cry. An artist named Rose Cooper. Of course, yeah, subversive, classical. Um, she died mysteriously. Oh, really? Good. Is that another murder for them to solve? Wow, it's beautiful. I'm glad you like it. Because it's you. It is. And I want you to destroy it. That took a turn, I guess. Oh. Oh, it's gone now. At least it wasn't found in Charles's apartment. Where's the tequila? Oh, I thought you were kidding. I only oh, yeah. Michael. I had some very exciting thoughts about our show. I see it as a two-hander. Timothy Chalamet plays me. You uh, play me. a little bit young for you. All about Jan. Me oh. is Jan. I'm Jan. Okay. Exactly. I think she was just a bad cook who could play the bassoon. I've been practicing. Yeah. Can you play the bassoon, Amy? Oh, man. What is that? Huh? Oh, wait. She's got the painting now. You were curious about my painting, and I'd like to know why. Also, I believe you're the kind of man who has coconut liqueur. Probably. I found it while I was in the dumpster. Oh. So inspiring. Okay, exactly she found it. Kind of reminds me of Brazos. You think Charles will play himself? Um, see, maybe? I, do you know what it is? I just think it has a bad energy. Can't you feel it? Oh, no. I don't know. I can give you the footage. It really helps some people to rewatch it. Trust me. Violence solves Close everything. Come on. May I? Yeah, protect those eyes. Oh, that's stronger than it looks. Okay, can we get back to the TV idea? Unless you're not into it. Oh, no, I'm into it. I'm, 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 I'm ahead of you on it. Just a bit. Now, what do you want to know about my painting? Why is my dad in it? My pesky lawyers tell me I can't make deals with murderers again. Oh, uh, so again. So you'll all need to clear your names so we can move forward. Oh, yeah, sure. true. There is nothing tying any of us to Bunny's murder. <laughs> Perfect. Me neither. Painting ended up somewhere else, so. I actually meant for you to metaphorically destroy it. Oh, uh, should have been more specific. I feel better. Oh, hello. Oscar who? So you knew Rose Cooper? Well, I happened to meet her. She was desperate to get away from a man. Hmm. So I bought her. And soon after that, she went missing. And then soon after that, they declared her dead. Oh, wow. How did she die? Now that's the question. I guess if they never found her. Caused the value of her work to go through the roof. So that's why it was so valuable. 
Did Rose happen to live across the street from here? Mm-hmm, she did. It's all coming back. We'll be back in an hour after my audition. Then we'll go to Nathan's and get a hot dog, okay? It wasn't an audition. It was a rendezvous with Rose. Dad, you're playing. Oh, right. Ah, yeah. Almost forgot my alibi there. Hey, I found out something about that Rose Cooper painting. My painting? Okay, Amy Schumer has Bunny's painting. Oh, oh no. Hello. Amy, uh, these are my friends. Charles Hayden Savage. Oh, Amy Schumer's oh, a fan. I had a poster of you on my ceiling. The shirtless one on the bearskin rug. Oh, oh. I wanted a little girl. I would practice my signature Amy Schumer Savage. A-S-S. A-S-S. Uh, Thank you. I'm Abel. A okay. little bit of a crush. This is it. Oh my. No, I've been away from you. Yep. Too long. You want to just give me Charles's number? Okay, please. you need to calm oh. down. Oh. Okay, horn dog. This, this is a reproduction. Oh, so it's not the real one. Just get it out of my Sting's apartment. Well, I'll take it. <laughs> just some randos balls on my wall. Ugh. The balls that made him, I guess. Was I believable? As Jan. Oh, yeah, she was playing Jan. We know that Bunny definitely had the original. Yeah. But why would she have a replica made? Or uh, did the killer have it made? Yeah, good question. Why does the replica exist? So I took a closer look at Bunny's will. There's something she wanted you to have. There is something... No, absolutely. No, not the bird. Her life expectancy is 80 years. Oh, have fun with that. Even in death, Bunny figures out a way to give you the bird. <laughs> That's a good line. Oh, Which love it. Record. Please don't tell me I'm turning into you. Oh, turning into a podcaster. The bird's gonna have a clue, though. I'm sure of that. God damn it. Oh, what's going on? It's okay, buddy. What's happening? Come on, that's my son. Wait. Did he kill Rose, or do they think he did? I think my father is in that painting. Well, of course he is. You knew? Yeah. I'm, I'm not blind. Well, that's she's a little fine. blind. <laughs> I was having an affair with your father for years. Okay. You're telling me my father was working both sides of the street. So what? I mean, so yeah. Here? Mrs. Folger, what about your painting? I have a feeling that you'll be looking for me. We don't know where the real painting is yet. Apparently, my father was having an affair with Rose Cooper and Mrs. Folger. Which? Wait, does that mean? Could Bunny be my sister? Oh, no. What? What's Mrs. Gambolini doing here? Isn't this fun? Eat shit. Yeah. Maybe I can donate her to, like, an orphanage. I'm not so sure she should be around children. Yeah, maybe not that bird. I know who did it. The bird knows who did it? Let's process that one. Okay, guys. Well, thank you for tuning in to my reaction to Season 2, Episode 2 of Only Murders in the Building. Uh, so what happened? Uh, so the... Painting was discovered in Charles's apartment. Uh, actually, turns out to be a replica painting, uh, which we find out after you know they try to hide it. Amy Schumer picks it up, uh, hangs it in her apartment, uh, and then uh, Bunny's mom, who is visiting the building, uh, discovers it and says, "You know, that's not the real painting. There was a tear, and that tear is not there. So that painting is a fake. So the real painting is still missing somewhere. At least that's not what was stolen from Bunny's apartment. So kind of kind of clears them a little bit, uh, at least in their eyes, which you know they knew." All knew they're innocent anyway, right? So, yeah, we don't uh, hear a lot about the Brazos revival in this episode, uh, so we'll maybe hear a, a little bit about that later. There's a little bit more about the Amy Schumer uh, production of uh, the series of The First Murder, uh, where she wants to play Jan, and uh, Mabel asking her new art friend about uh, Rose Cooper as well, who, who painted the painting. Apparently she disappeared under very mysterious circumstances, uh, and was never found. Uh, we see the flashback of Charles's father uh, being arrested and taken out of the building, so maybe that's what that's about. We'll see. I'm sure they'll elaborate on that in the future, uh, so, but I'm thinking, yeah, maybe they think he has something to do with the disappearance. So, And yeah, they inherit the bird as well. You know, I've been saying uh, since we saw the bird, you know, I think the bird's going to give us a clue, and yeah, just at the end of the episode, the bird says, I know who did it. So I guess uh, that's what we'll elaborate on when we get into episode three. Uh, but that will happen next time. Uh, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Check out my sports vlogging channel, Jordan's Vlogs. And until next time, this is Jordan saying you can't be productive sitting at home on your couch. All you need is a TV, a great catalog, and a vision. This has been Jordan's Vision. Have a good one, guys. Take care.
Bye-bye.